So welcome friends to our channel Intromech and today we are going to discuss something about how the different pneumatic components are selected. Now there are different pneumatic components like pneumatic actuators, then valves, then connectors and all these components we have to select in a proper manner so that our system can work properly. So how we can select these products? So there is an effective tool which is available through which you can easily select this component. So without wasting time, let's get started. Now, as I said, there is effective tool. Here you can see the SMC site. You just have to log in into SMC USA site. Then the window will pop up. Now you have to register yourself first. Just put all the required information and click on the create my account and your account will get created. Now, as I have my own account, I will put my credentials here and let's log in into the system. Now we have logged in into the site and here it's user interface. Now you can see a lot of options available here and on the right side, you can see the options like industrial communication, operation manuals, then wall manifold, configurators, FRL configurators, videos and products. So a lot of options available on this site and we will see one by one. First, we have industrial communication. Now in this site, we can see there are different communication protocols like Ethernet, Ethercat, then PowerLink and uh, CCC link. So these are the different industrial communication protocols and you can see what are the different options we have with this communication protocols here and according to that you can select your products then we have a operation manual section now in this section we have uh, different options like actuators and dryers just click on the anyone and you will see what are the different subtypes available in this category if you consider cylinders we have standard cylinders then we have compact cylinders then we have locking cylinders, uh, all these different options and you can see the PDF files. These are nothing but the operation manuals of these components. So uh, all the accessories are also available. So you can easily select the part by reading its manual. So just click on to the required manual and your manual will get open up. And it will contain all the required information regarding this product. So you can navigate through it and you can also easily save this document for the later use. Now let's move on to the next segment. Now next we have the wall manifold configurator. This is a very useful option available. When we are designing a system, we have to select solid walls and here it is very important. So we will see in the latter sections that how the walls are selected and how we can configure a complete wall bank with the help of this option. Then we have same FRL configurator. Now we all know that FRL is a very important uh, part of any system. So we have to select it properly. So you have to put the system input requirements in this module and you will end up with a product which fulfills your requirements. So just you should know what are your requirements, say what is the flow requirement or what is the port size requirement. So according to that, you can just enter your own requirements and you will get your product. So this is also a very useful configurator. Then we have SMC videos. Now this is a very useful uh, option available. You can navigate through different videos explaining the internal working of the actuators, rotary actuators. Then uh, we have linear actuators which are electric. Then there are connectors. So you can see what is their internal working. Uh, and how they actually work. So this is an important section. And then we have a new product section. In this section, uh, when company launches some new product, uh, they mention over here, and you can uh, see these products, like what are the different new latest products available so that you couldn't select any obsolete product. So this is very useful in that case. So. 
these are the different sections available and how now how we can uh, select the different products say so in that case we have a very useful site say the products now when you go on to the products you will see there is option like overview when you go into the over section it will show all the products of smc say actuators then the walls uh, then vacuum products or dryers and it will also show the sub options available now the important factor here is you can download the 3d models or 2d models or the manuals of a particular product and you can configure it so we will see with the example how we can do that so for example uh, we will uh, go with the actuator and you could see in actuator we have options let's go with the linear actuators now again when you select linear actuators there are sub options available like you want a standard cylinder or a round cylinder or a compact cylinder so it all depends on your requirement so let's consider a standard cylinder now when you select a standard selector again a window will pop up showing a lot of different options you can read what the particular option means what are its features and according to that you can select the subcategory of the uh, product now uh, let's consider a cq series for the example now when you select cq series again there will be sub options available so you have to just read uh, what those mean and just select the product accordingly now let's uh, consider the cdq2 series uh, for the example now, as soon as you click on this section a window will pop up showing the salient features of this system like how much bore size is available what is the standard stroke range available the all are the different specifications and now on the bottom here you could see a configuration option and you can see the part number is partial right now so as soon as you fill up all the required inputs all the ticks will get converted into a green mark and your product will get completed now let's do it one by one now i selected a magnet say built in so as soon as i select some option you can see that this the configurator option is getting filled up so i have selected now say a magnet so d then i have selected a mounting type then the type then uh, say bore size now as i select these options say now here i have selected say 50 so you can see that the 50 has appeared in the configuration option likewise there are thread options then we have body options and also the sensor options so you should know uh, these parameters before going into this section according to your system requirement that how much bore you require or how much stroke uh, you require according to some calculations so we will see that how uh, we will do that calculations practically according to our practical requirement and how we end up into selecting uh, this uh, product into in, by in later sessions so now the selection is almost getting completed here i am selecting a auto switch this is nothing but a read switch or you can say a sensor which uh, confirms the position of the linear actuator so there are a lot of options available you have to be precise while selecting these options so i have selected this option and then the wire length how much wire length you require and number so as soon as click this option you can see here all the ticks are green now my product number is complete so as soon as your product is completed some other options are also activated now you can see on the bottom side the options of CAD download then view 3d model product catalog are activated so you have to make sure that all the marks are green unless and until they are green these options will not 
open. Now we can see the actual uh, 3D view of the part which we have selected. This helps us a lot to imagine that how the part will actually look like, how we can accommodate that part into our assembly, what will be the space required and we can also see that what options we have selected. So if you select some end condition like with bracket or without bracket, we can also verify that into this 3D section. So this is the uh, importance of this section. It will take some time as the model is getting loaded. And once the model is uh, loaded, uh, you can see it is showing now the part number and it, its 3D drawing will get open. So the um, main part is it is 3D. So you can easily observe it and you can play with it. I will show you how. So again in this uh, section, you have different options available. You can just rotate it and see how it looks like from all the directions. Then uh, you have an option of explode, which is very useful option. You can just explode the internal parts of uh, this segment and see that what are the different components with which it has made up. So this is a very uh, useful option available. Then there is option of measure also available. You can measure the distances say in millimeters and angle in degrees. So uh, let's consider I have to measure a distance between the two faces. So I will take that ruler mark and I will select the face or say point on the two faces. Now you can see here there is point one coordinate, point two coordinate and the distance between these two coordinates. So you can get all this data. Uh, in this uh, 3D interface and it is very useful. Then if you want to see the internal uh, parts, you can have an option of section. You can take the section of the part and can observe the internal features of that part. Then again, you have a option say of it automatically rotates the part and again you can take a look of how it looks from all the sides. Then uh, you have a wire mesh uh, like hidden lines option so uh, you can make it transparent and see how it looks internally. So this is also a uh, important um, option available here. So this is very interactive and anyone can easily understand the part, the product and you can change your options accordingly and see how it reflects into the 3D and then after you can download your CAD file. There are different options available like 2D formats and 3D formats for the assembly purpose. If you require a 3D format, you can go for the 3D format like STAPE or IGS or whatever you want and just you have to click on the download file and your file will get downloaded into the zip format. So you have to uh, open that file into your required software and you can use the 3D uh, model. So it will take some time uh, to download. If the product is like heavy, it will take a little bit more time to get downloaded. So then you have a series catalog. You can go into the series catalog and see how the product looks, what are the different options here, how the code is made and what is the meaning of the different parameters you have selected. So all these options are very useful here. So this is uh, something about the how you can get a 3D model, how you can download it, how you can configure a uh, part. So this is about it and I hope you understood all the things and you just remember this site you have to make your account which is a very simple you can just make it in just say five minutes and the site is all yours so you have to just navigate through it and you can understood uh, you can understand the different uh, options available here you can uh, say navigate uh, deeper and deeper and you can collect all the information. So this is very 
useful site and I hope uh, for say students or the professionals also uh, it is useful because when you are say in a student phase you don't know all these uh, sites and available so if you want to make some projects or something like that and you have to select your parts by your own this is very useful site and I hope you understood all the things and in the latter sessions we will see how a particular uh, part we can select with the help of actual uh, physical system inputs say if we want to select a cylinder bore size and stroke or other parameters how I can select a particular bore size say 50 mm or 63 mm so in the upcoming sessions we will see uh, how we can select uh, these parts so until then stay home stay happy and thank you for the patient listening thank you